In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the original legends of Apex, the Recon Legend Bloodhound. This video is for beginners learning how to play and wanting to improve playing as this technological tracker in Season 22. Starting off with the basics, Bloodhound's abilities. First of all is their tactical ability called Eye of the Allfather. This ability is on the left bumper on Xbox, L1 on PlayStation and Q on PC. This ability is a 125 degree cone sent out in front of you up to 75 meters away to scan enemies, traps and loot ticks. The scan takes 1.8 seconds to activate and the full body scan lasts one second whilst the tracking marker lasts for three seconds. Bloodhound's tactical can show up to 10 hostiles but if there are more then it will say 10 plus but this is usually when Mirage has used his ultimate. For the opposite side of this when you have been scanned by Bloodhound it will notify you at the top of your screen. The scan does take 25 seconds to recharge so try not to waste it unless you know there are enemies ahead. Secondly is their passive ability Tracker. Now Tracker has two features to it. Firstly is the markers which tells you crucial information as to what has happened within the last 90 seconds of gameplay. If it has happened within 10 seconds it will be a dark red and it will fade to a light red almost pink colour the closer it gets to 90 seconds. I will leave up on screen the symbols so pause the video if you need to but when in game it will actually tell you what the symbol means. The second part of tracker is the white ravens. They will show you the direction of your nearest enemies up to 180 meters away and will spawn 50 meters from yourself. Something you may not know if you use your tactical on white ravens it will refresh the tactical instantly. Super helpful especially when the white ravens decide to spawn on a cliff because you can otherwise go up to the raven and press x square or e depending on what platform you're playing on. And the last ability is their ultimate beast of the hunt. It lasts 30 seconds but will end immediately if you are downed. When activated it will spawn a white raven to the closest enemy and for every knock it will spawn another white raven. It also increases Bloodhound's speed by 30% which is an absolute game changer when in a gunfight that extra speed boost can be incredibly clutch. Main difference when in Beast of the Hunt the screen goes black and white and your enemies will appear bright red making it significantly easier to see where the enemies are. However, if a Bangalore has dropped her smoke, you will not be able to see them until the smoke disappears. The ability takes three minutes to charge, but can take less time depending on what upgrades you take from the Evo Shield upgrades or if you find ultimate accelerants. Two things you should know as a recon legend, Bloodhound has access to survey beacons and a brand new feature for season 22 which is threat vision. Starting off with survey beacons, I will say they have been nerfed since season 22 was released but the two features of scanning survey beacons, one you'll gain 75 evo points, previously was 200 evo points and two you and your teammates will see where every enemy is within a 500 meter radius which previously was the entire map. So it's now not as effective but can still be very useful to know where the enemies are on the map. Second is threat vision is essentially Bloodhound's ultimate in that the enemies appear red on your screen but it is only when you aim down sights. Depending on the sight you have, the further away an enemy can appear red on your screen. Now a question you may have, what upgrades should I take from Evo Shield levels 2 and 3? For me personally, level 2 I would take Raven's Blessing 
which charges your ultimate by 20% every time you scan a white raven. The reason I would suggest taking raven's blessing is because I believe it sets you up for a better upgrade pattern for level 3. It is also helpful considering it does take 3 minutes for your ultimate to charge, so you can reduce that time drastically. The other upgrade from level 2 is Odin's Glare, which doubles the duration of the tactical full body scan, meaning it will last 2 seconds, not 1 second. Now, I think this is where a debate may begin, because for season 21, the level 2 upgrades were between reducing the time it took for the tactical to recharge from 25 seconds down to 20 seconds, and the White Ravens charging your ultimate by 25%. Now, for last season, I would have said to take the upgrade that reduced cooldown on the tactical, because it meant you could scan more, but I feel that this season's scan upgrade is pretty pointless, because ultimately, Bloodhound is there for recon purposes, but I believe that the one extra second would not make that much of a difference compared to getting your ultimate faster and allowing you to pick the better of the two options for the level 3 upgrade. Which leads me onto the level 3 upgrade and I would choose Sighthound which reduces tactical cooldown by 50% whilst your ultimate is active. Meaning whilst you're using Beast of the Hunt your tactical will only take 12 and a half seconds to recharge instead of the 25 seconds normally which will allow you to scan twice within your ultimate which can be incredibly helpful especially in a big fight whether you're being third partied or are the third party the other option for level 3 is called flock and this removes the enemy range requirements for white ravens to spawn this upgrade I think is easier to choose between because I can understand why Flock would have its advantages because it means the White Ravens will spawn far more frequently and you can charge your ultimate faster but I think with Bloodhound being a recon legend going for Sighthound will be far more helpful for the team and yourself in every fight you come across. Now we've covered all the boring details of Bloodhound, the most important part is how to play as Bloodhound. I will say I think they are one of the most balanced legends in the game and what I mean by that is you can play aggressively or defensively with them and it works. My preference is to play more aggressively as Bloodhound because I have confidence in my abilities and a good understanding of the character. One of the most important things you do have to consider is once you've scanned, how many enemies does it say? Is it a full squad? Is it two squads fighting? Understanding your position, do you hold the advantage? Do you not? Bloodhound is very useful in making decisions when it comes to engaging in a fight because depending on skill level, if it is a full squad, if you know you're really good then pushing is perfectly okay but making sure teammates are arriving as well just in case but if you know you're not amazing, because you know what is coming up, you can wait for your team and I think that's the best thing about Bloodhound. For those starting out, they will give you the confidence to try and improve your overall performance. Knowing when to scan and when to use your ultimate comes with the time of using the character. My rule of thumb when using the tactical is can I see markers around my proximity that indicate someone has been here? because pointlessly wasting your tactical can cost you. Obviously you can use the scan for the White Ravens because it recharges instantly, but wasting the scan and having to wait 25 seconds for the recharge, it potentially will harm your chances in a fight. Then my rule of thumb for Beast of the Hunt is if I am going to engage in a fight and I know that there are two or more enemies, if it is for one enemy, 
Personally, I think it's a bit wasteful. Unless it is the last squad, I can understand that. But generally, use the ultimate when going into a fight and you can use it to escape the ring coming in as well because you have a 30% speed boost, but that is for very exceptional cases. Talking about the 30% speed boost, use it to your advantage because you can change your location that much quicker. It will help you get the upper hand in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Just to reiterate, I would highly recommend using survey beacons. It gives you the 75 evo points, but also does give you and your team knowledge of where the enemies are on the map. Bloodhound is a recon legend, so remember that. Sticking with your team is far more beneficial than being a lone wolf or hound in this case. Your knowledge is everyone's knowledge. Every bit of information you and your team need is provided by Bloodhound and is why I will always choose Bloodhound as my main and I would really suggest if you are starting out on Apex and want to have a really good well-rounded legend then Bloodhound is that legend. I hope that you've enjoyed this Bloodhound guide and found it very useful. Please ask any questions you may have down in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.